Hi, in this Affinity Designer tutorial, we're going to look at how to make a simple pattern using a designer. So let's get started. So I am in Designer 2. I'm going to go up to File and New. And you can create your artboard any size you want. I'm going to use 1000 pixels by 1000 pixels. And I do want to click on Create Artboard. Whatever size you make it, um, your other options might be 500 pixels square or 2000 pixels square. Whatever size you decide to make it, um, just make sure that it is a perfect square. Um, if you are planning to create a uh, kind of a large pattern, then you might want to go a little bigger than this. Just remember that what we're going to be exporting is just the seamless tile. So you'll be able to scale this infinitely. So how complicated you make your pattern, like how many, how, how detailed it is, is going to matter a little bit in the size that you pick. Because um, if you have a lot of small elements on a 500 pixel artboard, then it's going to be really tight when you scale that up to a larger size. It's going to be a, a very dense pattern, lots of objects on it. So I'm going to do a thousand by a thousand, which is kind of a middle ground. And I'm going to zoom out here a little bit because the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, create one more artboard. And so we'll go over here to the artboard tool and insert an artboard and that put one right next to it. But I want to change this one. So let's leave it selected. Take the transform and we'll make this one 2000 by 2000. So it's essentially four times as large as our first one. Now let's go back to this artboard. Zoom back in. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this rectangle tool and we are going to draw out a rectangle that is also exactly 1000 by 1000. So there it is. I'm going to use the transform to change the dimensions oops, to be exactly the same size as the artboard. And then with snapping on, I can go to the move tool and just position this until I get the red and green lines pop up. And you can verify that you're exactly centered on your artboard in the transform. Your X and Y coordinates should be zero pixels. It doesn't really matter what the background color of this is um, because we don't necessarily need it in the final design, but I'm going to make it something that's a little bit, not too garish, but something that's pretty obvious. So let's just make it a pale pink. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to window and I'm going to open my symbols panel. And with this rectangle selected, let's find our layers here. Do I have layers showing? Nope. So let's, pull up the layers. So with this rectangle selected, I just need to go to this button and create. So it turned that rectangle into a symbol and we'll just close that. We don't need it anymore. So now I'm going to copy and paste that symbol and move it up onto artboard two. And I'm going to select it and then move that over here. So I've still got snapping on. So my green and red lines are popping up, showing me that I've placed it exactly in the proper position here. But you can also verify that in your transform box that you're at zero pixels in both directions. Let's copy and paste that. We'll move that over here. We'll verify X is in the 1000 pixel position and Y is at the zero. And then you can just select both of those, copy and paste, and we'll drop them down so that they are perfectly aligned here. Okay, so let's get this out of the way. So now what's going to happen is we're going to design on this tile and we're going to see a preview of what the repeat looks like in this side over here. So to keep things simple, we're going to just do a polka dot based pattern. So I'm going to zoom back in onto this tile 
And let's just take, uh, actually, you know what? Let's just make it a little bit more fun. Let's do a flower. Um, I do have a video that I made recently on creating flowers with shapes. So if you want to take a look at that, um, then you can see some more techniques with flowers, but let's just make a basic flower. We'll give it some color. So let's make it a nice little pink here. And again, just to keep this simple, we'll just put this directly in the center. Let's give it a little center. Make that a darker color. I'm just going to nudge that down a little so it looks visually a little better. All right. And this symbol too, let's go to the layers. Where did my layers go? There they are. Um, this symbol, I'm just going to hit the lock button on that so it doesn't move as we try and work with these. So let's group this. And so, so far we're not seeing it in our preview and that's because we need to put it under the symbol. So we're going to put it into the layer. So I'm going to back up and do that again. So drag it down onto the symbol layer and then we can expand this and you can see that it is underneath the symbol layer. And now we see that preview. So now we've got four copies of this. Let's just take this and make a couple more. So let's move one up into the corner here and we're making what's called a half drop repeat now. We'll make another copy and we'll move that one over into this corner. And then let's take a copy of both of those copy and paste. We'll drag those down. And we just want to make sure that we're getting these guidelines pop out so that we have um, our flower evenly. So we basically need one fourth of each of the flowers in the corner in order to achieve this. And so now you can see that we've got this pattern. And so now let's export this. So I'm going to select Artboard 1, which is my tile, and File, Export, and Area, I want it to be Artboard 1. And we'll just export that, and I'm going to give it a name. All right, and so now let's just uh, let's just create a new document real quick here, and let's take a shape, any random shape, and I'm going to gradient tool here, and we'll go to context fill, type, bitmap. We'll find that tile and open it, and then we can use these handles to kind of verify that we like our pattern. And it's as easy as that. So if you want to learn more about patterns, I will be doing more pattern videos in the future. So be sure to subscribe and uh, hit the notification bell so that you know when new videos are released. Thanks for watching.